the ring for the Battle of the Giants. Lord Alpha Layton, your commentator, Pedro Martinez, your promoter, and he has certainly lined up the contest tonight that should be something really outstanding. These two huge men, Baron Gattoni of Italy, and the one and only, Yukon Eric from Fairbanks, Alaska. Yukon Eric, a very popular figure in these parts over past years, came back here tonight to take on the big Baron, who at this stage refuses to shake hands with Eric, and was quite annoyed when he entered the arena that the patron refused to stand and recognize him. Well, he was hoping for a lot, but I'm afraid that was just asking too much. And there is the Baron, defiant as the official, checks him for grease and tries to explain the rules. Yukon Eric is not at all interested in the actions of the Baron. Quite casually stands in his corner, dressed in blue jeans with that uh, familiar piece of cord holding them up, bare feet. Walks over and takes his instructions. And there, the Baron, the Baron's manager is up there calling for a check of Yukon Eric. He claims that that mighty chest might be greased a little. But, of course, the Baron is always full of complaints. Tonight is no exception. Baron Catoni, 285 pounds, 6 feet 1 inch in height. Pitting his strength and ability against Yukon Eric of Fairbanks, Alaska. Eric is 296 pounds and stands 6 feet in height. So, as far as height and weight is concerned, these men are rather equal. Whether it will be equal at the climax of this contest remains to be seen. So far, the, the Baron's attitude has failed to have any impression whatsoever on Yukon Eric. And at the moment we see Baron Gattoni with Yukon Eric across the ropes and digging that knee into the small of the back, but having no effect whatsoever on the big man from Alaska. Baron Gattoni now holds, and with a mighty chest butt, Yukon Eric sends the Baron down. The Baron tried to make it a show of strength between he and Yukon Eric as they came to grips, but Eric dug that enormous 55-inch chest into the Baron. In fact, I was just corrected on the size of that chest. They told me it is now closer to 60. But whatever it is, it's certainly big. And here's a half Nelson. Half Nelson on Yukon Eric. The Baron, quite a striking figure there with that, those long locks. Takes a front face lock on Yukon Eric. And leans in with all that 285 pounds. Baron Catoni has only been wrestling three years in this country. Was formerly a Greco-Roman wrestler. Wrestled with great success in Europe. But now at the moment, it's falling to Yukon Eric. Chest bump as the Baron trying to bring a knee up there to stop Yukon. And now, in an effort to turn the tables, we find Baron Catoni making little impression on Yukon Eric. Eric looking well tonight. So far, Eric is quite unconcerned. Taking the Baron in stride. The Baron hanging on to an arm lock. As Yukon, straining. And he breaks the hold, reverses the hold. And with a mighty bill, he sends the Baron right across the ring. Well, there you are, Sam. A man the size of the Baron, thrown like a fly by Yukon Eric. Takes Eric in a body scissors, and Eric held in a body scissors. And 
crash down came the big arms of Hugh Connery and the Baron completely mystified he doesn't know how to handle this big man the Baron took on the American style of wrestling very quickly but usually he has the advantage in weight tonight he has not got the advantage and he, he just does not know how to handle the big Alaskan As you've done, Eric, held over the top rope as the Baron. The Baron is now threatened by Eric, who takes the side headlock. And he wants to, he wants to drive that fist in as she does. And the referee warned him, Eric. He's warning him to keep the fist open. As the Baron's manager is by the ringside there, consoling him and advising on how to handle the big man. Yukon Eric, Fairbanks, Alaska. And with another bill, he sends the big baron right across the ring. And continues on the attack. And the baron fails as he tries to do the same to Yukon Eric. But with the use of the hair, he hit blocked Eric. They were thrown onto the referee, and the referee, not at all, relishing that huge weight on top of his own back. Well, so far, Baron Catoni has not been able to throw Eric about. And that has been the difference in this contest to date. Yukon Eric, an accomplished dog sled driver and log roller, wood chopper, whatever you like to call it, any sport that is popular in Alaska, Eric has shown at them all. As a log roller, I am informed that they don't come any better. And perhaps that's where he learned how to handle men the size of Baron Catoni. Catoni ripping away at the eyes of Yukon Eric and the referee the referee is checking Gatoni. Referee is checking Gatoni. The referee is checking Gatoni's hair because he has been informed that Gatoni keeps dragging something from his hair and rubbing it across the eyes of Yukon Eric. And Eric feels him with those long locks right across the ring. Right hand, front face lock, and Yukon Eric has been thrown from the ring. Very solemn, we see Yukon Eric bounced out of the ring, but here he is now, right behind me, taking his time on coming back as he took a big knee, a knee drop there from Baron Gatoni. And there... There's Martin Moscato and his men trying to stop Yukon Eric, who has gone berserk. Eric wants to bring the bench in. He wants to bring the bench in and strike Catoni with that. But Catoni has knocked Eric down and is covering him, but the referee's down for the count. Referee watching carefully as Eric went berserk there for a while. He occasionally does that. He was anxious to bring the fittings into the ring then and give Gatoni a really good beating. Referee counting one. As Baron Gatoni is holding on to the blue jeans. The count went to two that time and the, the fans are roaring. They want the official to keep an eye on Gatoni. Gatoni hanging on once again to the blue jeans as the referee took the count to two. And Yukon Eric is in bother. There's Gatoni holding down. The count went to two again as Eric just gets that shoulder up in time. Referee warning the Baron. And the referee counts two again. And there's the State Athletic Commission representatives. I see Brad Carestio there and, and other representatives are warning. They're calling out to the referee to break the men. 
They will stop this contest if it continues to, to go the way it has so far. They became quite alarmed when Eric tried to bring the, the timber into the ring. And the Baron continues on his attack as Eric catches the Baron in a body scissors this time. And there's the Baron held firmly and he cannot break the hole. The Baron cannot break this hole as the referee is counting Eric to, to release him. And these two big giants continue their battle. Eric moving in. And there's Yukon. Putting a big right hand right to the, the jaw of Baron Gattoni. Gatoni's manager shouting out words of encouragement from the ringside as Eric who has refreshed himself from the attack he took earlier the Baron with the front face lock is down throwing his weight on Eric as the referee orders him to break there's the Baron ripping away putting the knee across the eyes of Yukon Eric as the official pushes him back Eric struggling to his feet as the Baron tries to come in on the blind side. Eric is a little groggy from that attack as the Baron continues driving Eric's head into that turnbuckle. If Gatoni doesn't stand back for that count of five, he'll get himself disqualified and the referee is impatient. And here's Eric. Eric's looking mad as he, he comes in to, to face Catoni. And Catoni sees the glint in Eric's eyes and wants no part of him. And there's Eric pounding Catoni with those, those big fists. Massive arms of Yukon Eric crashing down on the back of Baron Catoni. And Catoni, he's had enough as Eric curls him into his manager. And it's Catoni outside the ring now. As Catoni's manager is calling to the referee to disqualify Eric. Well, that was most humiliating for the Baron. The treatment he received there was not at all befitting a Baron. As Eric moves in on him. Both these big men using all their strength to get the upper hand. And once again, Eric hurls the ball into the ring and goes out after him. And Eric hits the, hits the manager. And now we find Yukon Eric. Yukon Eric hitting everybody. He's gone berserk out here. It's Yukon. And there we find the Baron and Yukon at it out on the concrete. As Eric is hitting anybody who gets in his path. And there we find the Baron trying to hurl Eric off the apron of the ring. And it was dangerous for anybody then to try and put a hand on Yukon Eric as the referee is counting. And the referee disqualifies the Baron Gatoni. Baron Gatoni disqualified for not standing back for the count. And there's the referee holding up the arm of Yukon Eric. The referee holding up the arm of Yukon Eric. And I'll try and get a few words here from Eric. Hey, Yukon, you had a rough time of it there for a while, huh? You met a wild boy. Huh? He don't know nothing. He's uh, just tough. He's a wild man, that guy. Wild man. Well, I think you treated him the way he deserves to be treated. Yukon Eric, who never has very much to say, fans, wasn't at all happy with the manner in which 